fight. Hey. Lone protester. That's it. What do you get to say? I got a lot to say, Dan. Yes? Say it. <sighs> First thing, directed at Mr. Allward specifically. What are you thinking? We can't drink it. We can't work with it. We can't even filter it. It's horrible. This is a big thing there. Uh, it's kind of why I, I decided to take up the charge. For one, uh, people people weren't uh, having their voices heard by our politicians. They were even being ignored by the mainstream media. And then uh, after a march a couple of years ago, somebody had uh, gone and uh, spoke on their ego and said uh, that people that have, were non-native should stay out of the, uh, the issue. And I said, well, that doesn't make sense. We all drink water. You know, we all inhabit New Brunswick. How are, how are you going to frack drill holes into 20% uh, of our land mass and still have that being okay and having everybody give you the thumbs up on that. It's not right. So obviously we're being lied to. And, uh, wow, this is not easy. Are you are you supporting uh, <laughs> Idle No More at uh, on the Route 126 there? There's a, there's a whole bunch of them yeah. being arrested yeah. and being... Yeah, actually, uh, right here on my side, I actually, uh, the day uh, the day they lit the fire, the next day I began my march on Main Street yeah. to support the the folks on the 126. Yeah. Yes. It was uh, one lie after another. Even, uh, even the RCMP, the part they played in it early on, I don't know where they were getting their orders from, but uh, I had seen a bunch of protesters standing on the shoulder of the road, which according to uh, what I know about walking along the highways and whatnot. This is a public area, you know? So people were demonstrating, holding signs and uh, getting some beeps as people drove by. Suddenly the RCMP blocked off the, main, the, the, the highway and, and started accusing the protesters of doing so. I thought that was a little bizarre. And uh, then to arrest people, even more bizarre. And then to do it twice, you know? Yeah. And then those uh, young young kids who I, I didn't know their names there. I, I got to meet one of them. He's a firekeeper there. These are brave brave young people there. So the fact of the matter is we're being lied to. There's uh, people need people need to know the truth. How else do you how do you, how else are we gonna get this out to the people? We need to stand up, speak up, speak out.